gentlemen of the press, uh, ladies and gentlemen of the press, and I want to thank you for honoring our invitation to this press conference to address the issues concerning the elections in Uganda. And I hope you'll be able to see yourself today, not just as uh, journalists, but as Africans, standing for democracy and the freedom of speech in Africa. So let's begin. The Royal African Young Leadership Forum, in standing with the champions of democracy across the continent, wish to express disappointment in the stage managed circuits called the elections in Uganda. The series of crackdowns on oppositions and descendant citizens by Ugandan authorities loyal to the self-serving General Museveni is a mockery of democracy, democratic principles and over, uh, by an overstaying dictator. The harassment and intimidation of General Museveni's opponents by heavy-handed security agencies and the internet shutdown ordered by the government to prevent scrutiny, criticism, and free speech were a pointer to the injustice witnessed during the January 14 elections. The targeting of the General Museveni's main challenger and presidential candidate of the National Unity Platform, Mr. Robert Kiagulai Sentamu, popularly known as Bobby Wine, alongside his family and supporters, is a convincing proof of human rights violation that triggered clamoring for a benign president in Uganda. The complicity of the Ugandan authorities in sustaining the 35-year-old tyranny is telling. This has not only set a frightening precedent, but undermines the system of government designed to give the people the power to choose who make decisions for them. That the government resorted to shutting down the internet to prevent access to social media in Uganda is the desperation that could only come from a character prepared to any length to sabotage the electoral process. Additionally, the people of Uganda deserve dividends of democracy that General Museveni frustrated through the method he mastered in his five years in power, harassment, intimidation, and violence, and fraud. It's an election that lacks even the minute speck of credibility and to which reputable observers have been systematically deprived of participation. As a result of the foregoing, we at Ralph Africa have taken a stand to draw the attention to the gimmick passing for democracy in Uganda and called on all state actors and international organizations to deny General Museveni the recognition and legitimacy he craves to take Uganda for another long ride through separations of rights and clampdowns on dissidents, citizens, and organizations. Going further, we wish to call on for the unconditional and immediate release of the opposition presidential candidate Bobby Wine and his team who have been under military house arrest before and after the elections. While we are disappointed by the silence of the African leaders, we wish to now call on them and the entire international community to mediate and prevent Uganda from further dissident, descent into anarchy. We expect that by now, sanctions must have been in place by democratic governments all over the world against the undemocratic conduct of General Museveni and his entire government. We will keep we will continue to keep an eye on the actions of the African Union, the United Nations, the European Union, and in the coming days, the United States under President Biden. The case in Uganda will be a test to your commitment to promoting uh, democracy in Africa. As a vanguard of the African youths, we identify with the Dante Alighieri's wisdom that the darkest places in hell are reserved for those who maintain neutrality in the time of moral crisis. So we won't participate in this conspiracy to overlook 
the broad daylight armed robbery in Uganda. African democracy have come of age and we, we are prepared to promote it and defend its integrity. We will go to any legitimate length to ensure that our future is safeguarded from leaders who perpetuate their stay in office against the will of the people and denying the young the mandate and the chance to take part in governance. Thank you very much.